<laughs> Who's ready for Freddy? Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to day two of uh, Hollows Fest. Uh, yesterday, we have uh, gone through Nightmare House 2 and completed the game, and tonight we'll be going through Five Nights at Freddy's. And uh, for this particular playthrough for Five Nights at Freddy's, I'm only going to be going through the uh, six normal nights. I'm not going to go out of my way to play uh, 20, 20, 20, 20 mode because I don't want to get stressed out during the stream, okay? So let's not do that. Also, hi, Gigi. <laughs> but, uh, yes, so um, hopefully... Because with my experience with Five Nights at Freddy's being streamed on here, there might be some issues because the mouse will the mouse cursor will not stay in the game itself if I keep it in window mode. So we're gonna try to do it in window mode first. And if that don't work, then we'll have to do the full screen approach. But uh yeah. Anyway, to those that are not familiar with Five Nights at Freddy's <laughs> To the two of you that live under a fucking rock. Um, Five Nights at Freddy's is one of the most phenomenal franchises that just came out of fucking nowhere. And uh, took the gaming platform by storm with just simple pointing and clicking. Now, whether the later games within the franchise have gotten stale is up for debate. I stopped playing uh, after Five Nights at Freddy's 3. Personally, I got stuck in Five Nights at Freddy's 2 because that game was just fucking difficult. And, uh, hey, G, come here. Hey, G. Yeah, hi, baby. Come here. Come here. Oh. Okay, fine, I'll pick you. Come here. Well, come here. Coming for lovings, and oh, now you don't want lovings. Make up your mind. All right, well, anyway. um, So, personally, I stopped playing after technically Five Nights at Freddy's 2. I played Five Nights at Freddy's 3. I played a little bit of the other games that released. And I haven't really played any other Five Nights at Freddy's after that, but I cannot deny how successful this franchise is. And um, Five Nights at Freddy's 1 holds a special place in my heart. I still consider it one of the best, uh, the first game I still hold high regards on. So, <laughs> at any rate, uh, let's go ahead and get started. And uh, let me just make sure that we get this game up and running, if we can. Warning, this game contains flashing lights, loud noises, and lots of jump scares. So... Oh boy, that just really screwed everything up, didn't it? <laughs> um, methinks I'm going to have to run this in full screen mode because, yeah, if I run in window mode, all I see is the light, and I don't mean the heaven's way of light. <laughs> so, uh, here, let's see, how can I do this? Um, I should have probably done this last night, but that's okay. Technical difficulties, it happens, it happens. Can't be helped. Can't be helped. Um, hold on. Where's the source? There we go. Okay, so let me go on ahead and move this over. Hello, Hillbilly Jim. How are you doing? Let's see. My god, there was one with like a pizza wheel attack. That was what was that? The pizza wheel attack? 
Oh, I think you might be talking about uh, Freddy Fazbear's Pizzeria. I believe so. I believe that's what you're talking about. All right, so uh, let me go on ahead and move this over here. And then uh, we will move. Uh, let's see what else. We'll move this. Well, fuck. We will move this over here. Everything else will be fine. Cool, 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 cool. All right, let's try Alt and Enter once more. Um, what the hell is going on? Okay, so let me go on ahead and run the game once more. With feeling this time, with feeling this time. Maybe we didn't show it enough love. <laughs> All right, so uh, actually, I need to go on ahead and do. All right, so properties, we will do. All right. Or not. What the shit? Steam. That's not going to help me. Where's Five Nights at Freddy's? Oh, my lord. Why am I having such a hard time trying to get this... Okay, there we go. Alrighty. Got to window mode. Got to window mode. Fantastic. Alright. Now, let's see if we can just... Okay, so it's not... It looks like it's not picking up on that. It looks like it's not picking up Five Nights at Freddy's at all, so we'll close that. Yeah, Five Nights at Freddy's World. It's, you're talking about that RPG one, correct? That was a weird role-playing game. Um, window capture, properties. Five Nights at Freddy's. Although, I should probably uh, do... Um, I should probably leave this alone for Twitch. Okay, I don't know why my picker wheel is not really doing its thing at the moment. Everything is screwing up here. Give me a moment. Da 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 all right, this is like the only night I'll be doing Five Nights at Freddy's anyway, so we can just do this. We don't want to capture cursor. Okay. So then we'll just adjust this. Adjust that. And everything else seems to be just fine. Uh, huh. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Okay. So now. Uh, Firefox, where are you? Could I just... No, oh, fuck me. No. No, no, no. Because now I got it to where I can run the window game on here, but now everything is all screwed up. And I am reminded why I never stream Five Nights at Freddy's. <laughs> I'm slowly reminded as to why I never stream Five Nights at Freddy's. Because Five Nights at Freddy's is a greedy bitch. Okay, 
see properties. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. So now it doesn't want to. Okay, let's try this. Window capture properties. Firefox. Okay, it does not want to capture the wheel for what? Let me, <laughs> my lord. I hate technical difficulties. I apologize, ladies and gentlemen. I deeply apologize. Window. Firefox. There we go. Okay. There. Everything else is a okay. Let's go on ahead and scooch that up here. Uh, All righty. Okay, everything's fixed. Everything's set up now. Everything's fine. Everything's great. Everything is awesome. Okay, anyway. Um, so, now we can begin with Five Nights at Freddy's proper. Well, you know, before I do that, I should probably go on ahead and adjust the sound a little bit, just so... For all that... For all that, a treat for us. Oh my lord, a treat. Okay, yeah, sure. We can go on ahead and do a treat. All right. Um, just let me know if you can still hear the game while I go on ahead and do this. Okay? Okay. So, window capture on. All righty. Oh boy. It's <laughs> okay. Alrighty. Let me go on ahead and pull out my bucket. Oops. Stupid spider. Why don't you just stay right? Be a good boy. That's what I get for picking up cheap stuff from Dollar General. Okay, let's see. Let's pull our first ball out. Whoop. GG. Not catch that ball. Whatever ball that is, I'm gonna have to pick up and use it. <sighs> Alrighty, let's go on ahead and start the night off with one spin. So let me see. Let me make sure that I get this. You know. Come on. There we go. And then here. Alrighty, so. We gotta spin the wheel once. Let's go ahead and spin it. What do we get? Fiery five times one. You know, it's a good thing I have that milk on standby. Let me tell ya. It's a good thing I have that milk on standby. Otherwise, yikes. I mean, it's true. That is true. I will not deny that. Okay. So. Oh. You know, this tin has been rather nice to me. We're starting off with Sriracha tonight. Okay. All right. Come on. It's just a Sriracha bean. Nope. God, it gets worse when you like. <coughs> it gets worse when you like swallow and like the shit gets mixed up in your saliva and oh. That gets. <clears throat> Anyway, okay. Let's go ahead and get started with Five Nights at Freddy's. New game. Let's go. All right. Huh. 
Hello, Crime Monica. How you doing? Now, I can't pause this game, so if you guys redeem trick or treat. I can't, uh, wow, okay. This might be an issue, I don't know. Hello? Oh, hello? Uh, I wanted to record a message for you to help you get settled in on your first night. Um, I actually worked in that office Oof. for you. I'm finishing up my last week now, as a matter of fact, so I know it can be a bit overwhelming, but I'm here to tell you there's nothing to worry about. You'll be fine. So let's just trick or treats on deaths. Yeah, first. deaths, that's fine. Okay. Uh, let's see. First, there's an introductory greeting from the company that I'm supposed to read. Uh, it's kind of a legal thing, you know. Uh, welcome to Freddy Fazbear's Pizza, the magical place for kids and grown ups alike, where fantasy and fun come to life. Fazbear Entertainment is not responsible for damage to property or person. Upon discovering that damage or death has occurred, a missing person report will be filed within 90 days or as soon as I the property and premises have been this. thoroughly cleaned and bleached and the carpets have been replaced. Blah, blah, blah. Now, that might sound bad, I know, but there's really nothing to worry about. Uh, the animatronic characters here do get a bit quirky at night, but do I blame them? No. If I were forced to sing those same stupid songs for 20 years and I never got a bath, I'd probably be a bit irritable at night, too. So remember, these characters hold a special place in the hearts of children, and we need to show them a little respect. Right? Okay. So just be aware, the characters do tend to wander a bit. Uh, they're left in some kind of free-roaming mode at night. Uh, something about their servos locking up if they get turned off for too long. Uh, they used to be allowed to walk around during the day, too. But then there was the bite of 87. <laughs> yeah, it's amazing that the human body can live without the frontal lobe, you know? Uh, now, concerning your safety, the only real risk to you as a night watchman here, if any, is the fact that these characters, uh, if they happen to see you after hours, probably won't recognize you as a person. They'll, they'll most likely see you as a metal endoskeleton without a costume on. Now, since that's against the rules here at Freddy Fazbear's Pizza, They'll probably try to forcefully stuff you inside a Freddy Fazbear suit. Um, now that wouldn't be so bad if the suits themselves weren't filled with cross beams, wires, and animatronic devices, especially around the facial area. So you can imagine how having your head forcefully pressed inside one of those could cause a bit of discomfort. And thus the and theories then, began, that is the correct. The would likely see the line of day again would be your eyeballs Pop out the front of the mask. Yeah, they don't oh boy, these things Bonnie's out. Though. But hey, first day sleep breeze. I'll chat with you tomorrow. Uh, check those cameras. And All right, so only here's the thing with Five Nights at Freddy's. Power. All right, good night. So Foxy won't become active until like maybe night three. Uh, Bonnie come shows up on this door. Chica shows up on this door. Now you want to keep an eye on the cameras here and mainly switch between 1A and 1C. 1C is a Pirate's Cove where, you know, Foxy is just resting, doing his thing, whatever. And this also helps keep the other animatronics in place, mainly Freddy Fazbear. Uh, Chica and Bonnie, however, will, uh, roam around the place, and like I said, Chica shows up on this side, Bonnie shows up on this side. If you happen to see either of them by flashing your lights, you just click that door, and now keep them out. Foxy also shows up on this, this side of the door as well, so if we happen to see Foxy running down the hallway, you just shut this door, Foxy will bang on the door. However, Foxy actually consumes the uh, energy uh, from your power. As you may have noticed, there's power percentage and usage and whatnot. Um, 
whatever you do consumes power. And uh, if that power reaches 0%, then that's a game over. You have to survive until 6 a.m. And this goes for all the Five Nights at Freddy. Now, there are certain, like, deaths, like secret deaths that you can uh, encounter in this game. One of them most notably is the Golden Freddy. Uh, he's a rarity, uh, but basically, if you happen to uh, keep an eye on the cameras, uh, uh, on a certain hallway, there is a poster of Freddy Fazbear. But if you happen to uh, look at your camera, that poster will change into Golden Freddy's face. And from there, once you go on ahead and lower your camera, Freddy, uh, Golden Freddy will be right here, and he will cause the game to be over. And it looks like Chica has started to come out to play, and Freddy Fazbear is staring at the camera. That's wonderful. Oh, this is a wonderful night. So from this point onwards, you want to keep doing this little maneuver that I'm doing right now. Checking your camera, switching between 1A and 1C, going back and forth, checking the hallways of the lights. Now does this consume a lot of power? Hell yeah, but it does help. I've played this game plenty in my time and uh... I've also completed 20, 20, 20, 20 mode, and my god. Oh, well, now we're starting to get hallucinations. That's wonderful. So if you happen, if Freddy Fazbear happens to get out of the stage, uh, he will end up showing up on this side of the door rather than, you know, the right side rather than the left. And you'll start hearing his laughter when he gets closer. And if that's the case, then all you gotta do is shut the door and uh, go to the camera where he's hiding and that will automatically reset him back to the stage. How do I know of this trick? Well, 20, 20, 20, 20 mode. Takes a lot out of you. <laughs> Bonnie and Chica are being very friendly tonight. And then again, this is the first night. If you happen to get close to 5 a.m. and your power usage is at zero, if you happen to stay still, a.k.a. play dead, and let Freddy do his own thing, uh, there is a chance that you'll be able to survive at 6 a.m. as well, so... Hopefully I'll be able to show that off during this playthrough. And I think in real time, I think it's uh, 15 minutes, not 15 minutes, I think it's six minutes that you have to last, but trust me, it's going to be the longest six minutes of your fucking life when it comes to this game. <laughs> but that's the first night. Alrighty, I will do that trick-or-treat in a moment. And already, Bonnie is out to play. Uh, it might be a good idea to peek at those cameras while I talk, just to make sure 
It's what I'm doing, bud. It's what I'm doing. No, there is no time between nights. If I happen to escape from this game, then now close the game down. Chica is being very friendly tonight. But of course, the more I'm doing this, the more power I am consuming, and that's never good. Because I am at 80% right now, and it is already 1 a.m. Imagine being congratulated on getting through one day of work. Yeah, right? Congratulations, you made it day two. Yeah, see, I never do that. <laughs> like, if there's anyone that's new, that comes in, that's new to work, I'm just going to be like, oh, welcome to the team. Oh. Welcome to the team. Okay. Okay. Welcome to the team. Hope you enjoy your stay. So just like that, if you happen to see Bonnie outside the door, you just close the door. And you can tell by his silhouette that he's still there whenever you flash your light when the door is closed. So that's another tip I can give you right off the bat. Assuming you're going to be playing this game to begin with. Because this game is available on the Nintendo Switch, the Xbox One, and the PlayStation 4, so... But there are certain times, you know, when the night progresses, you gotta be quick because if either, elect either animatronic, whether it be Bonnie or Chica, uh, they can trip the wires on the doors, which will not allow you to uh, close the door. And if that happens, well, that's essentially game over. I wish this, there was a pause function in this game, but there isn't. I will say though, playing these games standalone in OG territory is not that much of a scary experience. If you want a more scarier experience of Five Nights at Freddy's, you play the VR version of the game. Which is, you know what I do own. The longer you keep your door closed, the more power it consumes. Okay, Bonnie is not there anymore. The trick or treats can be saved up till you can do them. Yep. So just remind me, I gotta do one so far. Hi, GG. Uh oh, Chica's coming out to play. The VR version brings all stress and scariness of a real job. Yep. 100% agreed.
Oh my lord. It's 3 a.m. I'm at 39% of power. Oh, this is not good. This is not good, and Freddy is becoming a little more active. This is only a second night. This game, <laughs> you know, a couple of people like to call stress management system because you get into this little routine. This game turns from scary to <laughs> a stress management program where it's just like, ah, oh, shit. Okay, well, I got this little routine I got going now. I just got to make sure to do this, that, and the other, and hopefully I don't fuck up. Now there is a fan RPG game that's based off of Five Nights at Freddy's called Five Nights at Fuckboys. <laughs> now whether I should play that on stream or not is up for debate, but it is a fan RPG game where you get to play as uh, Freddy Fazbear and the rest of the gang while going through this pizzeria and leveling up and, you know, destroying all the other uh, animatronics and stuff and level up. It, 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 it's a goofy ass fucking fan game. And there is one line I've always liked to quote from uh, Freddy Fazbear on Five Nights at Fuckboys, which is, inhale my dong enragement. <laughs> oh, Foxy is coming out to play. I fo oh shit, Foxy is starting. Oh Jesus Christ. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Out of all the animatronics, though, Foxy is my favorite. Fun fact. Foxy is my favorite animatronic. Okay. This night... This night might be a bust, I'm not 100% sure. percent power 5 a.m. 2 percent power 5 a.m. fucking get out of that fucking hallway okay well you know what that's fine we'll play dead we'll play dead and we'll see what happens yes okay cool You will pull many close calls <laughs> in this game. <laughs> Alrighty, so. Alright. Okay, so Chica's coming out to play. Some fan game. I think it's called Bonnie's Bonnie's Playhouse or something, where you take control of Bonnie and actually try to get to the security guard. a short call. I am using 
so much fucking power doing this. Have they run some patches on this game? Just to make it a little more difficult if you're doing this? Okay, Chica's not there anymore. It's, uh... Reminds me of those videos, uh, one YouTube creator made called How Not to Make Five Nights at Freddy's Scary. And I've always loved the way they did, uh, Chica's voice. Like, fuck, ba fuck, fuck, ba ba pizza. <laughs> pizza? Have to be a little quicker than that. Uh, anything else I can really say about this game? Oh, this is it. This is the game. Uh, I guess a bit of a fun fact. Uh, there used to be only like two stars that you can collect on this game. You'll have to beat the original five knights to get the first star, and then the bonus sixth knight uh, to get the second star. But after you beat the sixth knight, unlocks custom knight, where you get to adjust the levels of the animatronics. And the highest they go to is 20. And there was one person on Twitch, I, I forget who the Twitch user name was. But, uh, there was one Twitch user that actually did the impossible and complete 20, 20, 20, 20 mode on stream. And it gave Scott Coffin an idea that, you know what, it's doable. We're going ahead and make a, that a third star option. So to get a third star in your profile, you got to complete the custom night with all the animatronics set to level 20. And this is a reoccurring theme on the other Five Nights at Freddy's games as well. And considering that the second game has 10 animatronics total, yeah. Comes a little, comes a little more harder. Gets a little more harder. So now Bonnie is coming out to play. Again, once Freddy Fazbear is looking at the camera, all you gotta do is just stare at him and reset the camera, and then he'll reset back to place. That's why I always have the camera set to 1A before uh, resetting it, because it helps reset Freddy. Now, this technique does not work at all in Custom Night with all the animatronics set to level 20. There's, so, there's been so many like, I think, oops, I think I've, uh, tried this attempt on 420 mode around 75 times. It took me 75 tries until I was able to complete this game with 20, 20, 20, 20 mode. Yeah. It, 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 yeah. If, if you're, if you're, don't expect an easier time if you're going to try to go down that route. And all you get is a dinky fucking star in your profile while doing it. I don't think it's worth it, personally. You're just doing it for bragging rights at that point. Oh, shit. Well, I can't close the door. So guess what that means, guys. Okay. So that's the first game over. It just happens that fast. It happens that fast. Unfazed at this point. Hello, Echoid. All right, yes, it is time for beans. We got three. We got three. Okay. Okay, so um, let's go on ahead and pull out a magical bucket. And let's go no capture. Okay. I 
forgot that this game is a little stingy. Okay. You are dead. No big surprise. All right. So we got three trick or treats to go through. So let's see. One per level complete and one per death. You know what? I guess that's fair. Okay, I gotta spin the wheel twice. Okay. All right. Let's spin it. No. 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 Where's Tech? Tech should be here. If he was here, he'd be laughing at me by now. All right. Well, I got my milk on standby, so. Uh, okay. Well, let me go ahead and add this to the token counter. We got 44 tokens. Uh, all right. Jalapeno. So we're going ahead and pull out a jalapeno. Oh no, habanero? No. No. I had cayenne. That has to be the spiciest. No. Habanero is spicier than cayenne. Fuck me. And jalapeno. All right. This, this is going to be terrible. Uh, this is going to be terrible. This is going to be terrible. All right. No, let's get the hottest one out of the way first. Because my, <laughs> my method is, if I get the hottest one out of the way first, jalapeno is going to be less spicier than habanero. All right? Oh. <sighs> Yeah, Echoid, oh my god, he is a fan of fucking spicy. Like, he will put ghost pepper salsa, all, it doesn't matter what kind of fucking food it is, he will put ghost pepper salsa on everything. It's a whole wonder how his ass is still intact. No, 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 no. Okay. Mm-mm. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Mm-mm. Oh, shit. Okay. I still gotta spin another wheel after this too. And I got two more. I got two more. I got two more balls I need to pull out too. Mm. <sighs> okay. Let me take a drink. I'll take a drink and then we will shove these two jalapenos. At the same time, okay? I'm gonna shut them up my butt because I'm pretty sure it'll feel a lot better in my butt than in my mouth. <clears throat> oh, actually, now that I think about it, probably not. <sighs> you gotta go out and wild and catch. No, no, not not those type of bugs. <laughs> Jalapeno, not that bad. <clears throat> okay. All right. Okay, bean boozled. I can do bean boozled. 
I would rather do Bean Boozled than the fucking Fiery Five. Okay, Fiery Five, done. Out of the way. <sighs> Berry Blue or Toothpaste? You know what? I am fine with either flavor. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, Toothpaste. Okay, alright, so, that's one. That's one. The spice is still there. Gotta spin the wheel twice again. Ooh. Holy shit. Spice is still there. It will not go away. No! 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 <laughs> I wanna fucking die. Come on. Give me sriracha. Give me sriracha. I need sriracha. And sriracha, okay. Okay, you know what? I will gladly take a sriracha. Oh my god. All right. God, I am so not ready for this. My tongue is still on fire from the last one. Fuck me, dude. I do not go out of my way and eat spicy food. Like the rest of you heathens that are out there that eat this for sport. Okay? It's like, oh, I like to rub my dick with habanero. <sighs> Habanero. Uh, no, please, no. Oh. No. No. Why do I see hot? <sighs> oh my god. Oh, no, I I'm 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 believe it or not, I'm actually shaking. I do not want to put this habanero bean in my fucking mouth. Oh, oh, but it's gotta be done. Oh, but it's gotta be done. I still gotta pull one more ball. <clears throat> okay. 
Sriracha. Hmm, Sriracha. Oh, no, but if you have something hot, you get that bitter, bitter taste of Sriracha, and it's worse. Oh, God, is that worse. Oh, God, is that worse. Okay. No, I might not eat or taste either flavor of this, whether it be Juicy Pear or Booger. It don't matter. I don't think I'm going to be able to taste it. Oh, God. <sighs> My nose is starting to drip now. Oh, Jesus. Turned out to be Juicy Pear anyway, okay. Glad to know my taste buds haven't gone to complete shit due to the Fiery Five. But I still gotta go. Still gotta pull one more ball. Okay, one. I can do one. As if it's a fucking fiery five again, I'm gonna fu- Okay, good. And on that note, we are halfway through a hundred to reach Five Nights at Freddy's VR. Yes, I'll still love you in the morning, babe. No, peach or barf? Peach or barf? No. Strawberry banana smoothie or dead fish? All right, what's this? Is this what I'm looking for? All right. All right. It better not be bad on both accounts. It better not be bad. Oh, man. Starting to get gassy. Okay. All right. Let's start with this. Eat or peach or barf. Okay. Peach. Woo. Okay. I can do peach. I can do peach. That's fine. Mm. 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 All right. Well, while I go ahead and adjust these other beans, let's go back to Five Nights at Freddy's. Okay. Who right. my the roof of my mouth and my tongue is on fire. Chica's out. Mm. 
Okay, are we ready? Are we ready to see if it's a strawberry banana smoothie or dead fish with this bean? Hey, shit! I dropped it. Could just let Chica take me out right now. Dude, in a fiery five. <sighs> Chica's out for pizza. Bonnie is just chilling. But then again, Echoid remembers. Echoid remembers just how much I was putting myself through this game back when me, him, and our other brother uh, were living together. They both know how much time I've put into this game. videos are still up there on my YouTube channel if you want proof of that. My old YouTube Let's Play. Body knows Chica has it under control. Okay, my tongue is now cooled off from the spiciness of those beans. It's a good thing. It's a good thing that the bean variety of the spicy uh, ones are... Like, I don't know if you can rightfully compare the beans to the actual stuff. Like, I'm pretty sure the actual stuff lasts longer and would probably kick my ass more compared to the beans. Bonnie is behaving extremely well tonight, surprisingly enough. Anyone in this chat, uh, have you guys ever played Five Nights at Freddy's? And would you even consider picking up Five Nights at Freddy's? If I have to make a recommendation, at least play through the first game. Okay, now Bonnie's out. Oh, shit. quicker than this. I've watched it played several times, but not played. Would you consider playing it or no? <laughs> I 
and Bonnie needs to pick up Chica's slack. Yeah, that's why Bonnie is coming out, just to pick up Chica's slack. He is the bassist. Chica is the guitarist, I believe. Played 1 through 3, but I want to try VR. I do love Help Wanted. I do have that on my Oculus Quest. It's a fun game to go through. The VR game is so much fun. Back when I was allowed to stream my Oculus Quest games on Facebook once upon a time before they took that option away for whatever reason, um, I was always streaming uh, Five Nights at Freddy's Help Wanted and uh, The Walking Dead Saints and Sinners and uh, Tetris Effects. I definitely, definitely recommend if you pick up an Oculus Quest or if you happen to have PlayStation VR or whatever, uh, definitely pick up Help Wanted. It is a fantastic game. sluggish. I don't need to be this sluggish. And what's scary <laughs> about, well, I guess if you want to consider it scary, is you only have to rely on your mouse for this game. In later, in later games, you, they do throw in a combination of keyboard and mouse that you can use, but in the first and second game, uh, you can only use your mouse. It's 5 a.m. 5 a.m. Freddy and Foxy are behaving. While I'm still trying to keep an eye out on both Bonnie and Chica. Hopefully Chica does not eat my giblets again. Again. Hey, welcome to night four. Things are going to get a little more hectic. Bonnie, you're too late. out. Phone guy's dead. Rest in peace, guy. But 
and now the real game begins. Night four is where the game really begins to shine. Now, actually, I consider the VR game of Five Nights at Freddy's to be a little more easier. If only because you actually, like, don't have to deal with the wonky controls sometimes in these uh, games on the desktop, you know? Now, I have played this game on the Nintendo Switch, and it doesn't play that bad. Like, if anything, I do recommend playing this on a console rather than on the PC because you'll have such an easier time with the gamepad rather than uh, the mouse or keyboard or whatever. In fact, I was considering about doing the Switch version of this game, but uh, I already had it downloaded on this desktop, so I might as well. Get the OG, OG experience of Five Nights at Freddy's. Pirates of the Caribbean. 
I might have butchered the second verse of that, but I really don't give a shit. Oh no, the, <laughs> the way the security guard goes, ba ba bum bum ba ba bum. It's just like it reminds me that he was just beginning to hum. He's a pirate from Pirates of the Caribbean. <laughs> I don't know why, but it's very similar. Very similar. 4 a.m., 24%. Foxy is being friendly. Because, you know, okay, so here's how Foxy works. You have to shut the door when he gets out of the curtains, right? And like I mentioned before, he will take a certain amount of percentage from the door. The first hit, I think, is like 5%. Then the second hit is 10%. Then the third and final hit is 15%. So, really, you really need to focus on not having Foxy knock on your door. Because he's a pirate. Swiggity swooty, coming for that booty. Okay, but I might be able to make it through the fourth night. Uh, hopefully, 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 hopefully. I gotta be a little quicker than this, especially for the fifth night, and especially the sixth night. I'm not gonna do custom night during this playthrough, I'm only gonna be focusing nights one through six and that's it. So like I said, I want Foxy knocking on my door. <laughs> Jesus, H tap dancing Christ. Okay. Okay, I think I'm gonna have to start playing dead here. Okay. Okay, cool. Whew. Yeah! All right. The fifth night. Okay, you just gotta get through nights five and six. Once we get done with night five, we will actually be taken back to the main menu before we get started on night six, and that's when I'll do the wheel spins and stuff. But for right now, let's try to focus on completing the fifth night. Foxy's been really friendly throughout this playthrough. Like, he almost got me. He almost got me in night three, I believe. Shit. He almost got me in night three, I believe. What? Still there? Da, 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 
is another game I have completed on this stream is Yoshi's Island halfway through the night and it's only well no what I meant to say was we are at 50% power and below and it's only 3am now That's not what I meant to do. Foxy is being extremely friendly throughout this playthrough. Can I just say that right now? Foxy is very fucking friendly. I do have a plush of Foxy. Actually, he's just in my closet at the moment. Much I adore the guy. We totally got this. You remember that time that we got this? We only are running on one game over right now? That's how much we got this. That is how much we got this. That is how much we got this, bro. We got this. Well, I'm gonna have to be a little quicker than I am. I'm struggling a little bit. Well, to be fair, I have had plenty of experience with this game before, so it helps. <laughs> the past experience helps. Not even the beans could stop you. Uh oh, Foxy is finally peeking out. Hey guys, remember me? I'm Foxy. 
I'm Foxy Grandpa. <laughs> and now I imagine Foxy wearing that cap, Foxy Grandpa. That would be amazing. If there is fan art out there, I would like to see that. wants to give you a hug. Maybe. Maybe. I'm at 11%. Okay. Hopefully Boxy, Boxy, um, Bonnie and Chica will be more friendly at my doors and hopefully Foxy will just stay where he's at. Because if I do decide to play dead, that will give Foxy a chance to come out of his office a little quicker. His little cove a little quicker. And, uh, okay. okay. Play dead. Play dead. Play dead. Play dead. Yes! <laughs> Eat my dick. Da -da 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 -da. Eat my dick. Da, 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 da. Eat my dick! <laughs> oh boy! Alright, so what was it? Strawberry and banana smoothie? Uh, strawberry and banana smoothie or dead fish? Okay. But, oh my god. Okay, so we still got more wheels to spin. Uh, okay. How many how how many how many balls do I need to pull out? I need to pull out three. I need to pull out three balls, is that correct? Uh well first off Strawberry banana smoothie, alright, cool. <laughs> Maybe that last bean was dead fish and I just got lucky. <laughs> Okay, well, let's go on ahead and, okay, that's one, so I have to spin the wheel once, let's go ahead and add that. All right. And actually, before I do that, I'm gonna need I'm gonna need some luck. Hold on one moment. Say hello to Foxy. Here's Foxy. I love him. He is going to remain, right? Okay. Alright, let's see. So... Um, so I need to spin the wheel once. Hi, Gigi. Bean boozled times one. I'll take that. I'll take that. Okay. Buttered popcorn and rotten egg. Oh boy. Oh boy. 
First off, where the fuck? Okay, here it is. Neither of those flavors sound wonderful. Okay, so now I gotta pull another ball. Excuse me, Gigi. Sorry about that, baby. One. Spin the wheel once. Yeah, it's a lose-lose on that one, huh? All right, so I got to spin another wheel. Okay, buttered popcorn. It's actually not that bad. The buttered popcorn is actually not that bad. Hmm. Actually, it reminds me of those old popcorns. Like, back when I was living in New Jersey, we used to, like, have these bagged popcorns. Like, I had, like, a little popcorn mascot with the sunglasses. I know I'm not having a fever dream about this, but this bean that I have in my mouth right now reminds me of that specific popcorn for whatever reason. For whatever reason. Okay. So, we're going ahead and start with the citrus flavor for the treat bean. And then I still got to pull one more ball out. Man, I'm getting lucky with these pulls. But that just means that the rest of the balls will be twos. <laughs> oh, boy. All right, let's spin the wheel. And another treat bean. All right, so we're at 53 tokens. Uh, five, we got five. Okay. And we will do this. Okay. With that done. Let us move on to the sixth night. Five Nights at Freddy's. Now, this is where things are going to get intense and a lot harder. That being said, wish me luck. That being said, wish me luck. Everybody's already going out to play. Shit. We are not doing it too bad on these bean pulls tonight. But we're also not doing bad on this run for Five Nights at Freddy's either. I'm actually quite surprised. It's been a very long time since I've actually picked up and played this game. I think uh, last time I actually picked up and seriously played this game was two years ago. Next game we'll be playing after this, I believe, is uh 
What game are we playing next after this? Was it Slender the Arrival? I forget. Is it Slender the Arrival? I want to say it's Slender the Arrival. I'll have to double check my Discord, but I'm pretty sure it's uh, Slender the Arrival. And then uh, I believe Dead Space 2 is after Slender the Arrival. And then after Dead Space 2, I've decided the game I'll be covering after Dead Space 2 is Resident Evil 2 Remake Revisit. I haven't actually, like the last time I actually had popcorn was when when you visited me, babe. When uh, we were watching Mouse, uh, I think it was Mouse Hunt. We were watching Mouse Hunt and we had that bag of cheddar popcorn. I think that's the last time I actually had popcorn. Now I'm in the mood for popcorn. theater style popcorn you know like yeah th that stuff gets pricey but god are they good <laughs> like movie theater style popcorn is always the fucking best If I had to choose a specific brand of microwavable popcorn that I like, uh, it's Jolly Time for sure. Jolly Time is my favorite brand when it comes to microwavable popcorn. Chica is actually being very friendly tonight. And actually, so is Foxy by proxy, but... Uh, Can you imagine the foxy plush behind me just turning into an animatronic and just shoving his hand into my chest from behind? Actually, he'd be inserting his chest. Well, he'd be inserting his fist from my back first in, you know, and through my chest, but wouldn't that be some scary shit? Twenty-seven percent, three a.m. Things are not looking good. Things are not looking good at all. My reaction time is great, though. My reaction time is great. And Foxy is beginning to peep. there is a bit of random factor like this game does have a bit of RNG to it 
So like what I'm doing right now isn't gonna work 100% of the time, you know? Like at any point in time, Bonnie could just show up in the snap of a finger at any point in time and can trip the wire on my door at any point in time. The RNG is not that great in this game and it is 4 a.m. 7%. I think 5% is where I want to begin to probably start playing dead. Especially since Bonnie is probably going to be sucking up the rest of my power. And okay, we'll do this one more time. I doubt I'm going to be able to make it. Okay. We're going to play dead right now. Foxy's probably going to get me, too. Okay. Okay. Alright. Come on. 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 That was too quick. That was too quick. That was too quick. Yeah. All right, that's the second death. <laughs> All right, so I don't know if I'm going to be able to complete the sixth night on this game or not before the end of the stream. If I don't, it's fine because I've gotten through the original Five Nights. And guess what the title of the game is called, baby? Five Nights at Freddy's. So I'm not worried if I'm going to complete the sixth night or not. Okay, on that note, however, yep, I do know what that means. Gotta spin the wheel twice. All right, so now I owe $30 to charity. Ooh, okay. Gotta spin the wheel twice. And this, I am, I am getting lucky tonight with these treat beans. What can I say? Alrighty. Alright, but I still gotta spin the wheel one more time, so. Okay, be moozled times two. Alright, so now we are at 56 tokens. 56 tokens, $30 owed to charity. Alrighty, so get me boozled out of the way first. Juicy pear or booger? Eh, actually, I mean either flavor is fine. Honestly, booger is not that bad. Oh no! Oh no! Well, is it gonna be cappuccino or liver and onions? Well, only one way to find out, I guess. Let's let's get let's get this one out of the way first. Okay, juicy pear. I can do juicy pear. Okay. 
Is this going to be cappuccino or liver and onions? I'm so scared of this bean right now. I am so very, very scared of this bean right now. Okay. I'm waiting to find out. I'm waiting to find out. Only one way to find out. This is either cappuccino or liver and onions. Uh, okay. Oh, come on. Come on. My dad hates liver and onions. What makes you think I'm going to enjoy this? Oh. I don't think any... Is there anyone that likes liver and onions? Like, let's be real. Is there actually anyone out there that enjoys liver and onions? Okay, I can't delay. I cannot delay it. I cannot delay it. No, 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 no. Oh, no. Actually, huh. Hmm. Hmm. Huh. Oh. Oh. Okay, that's that's not as bad as I thought it was gonna be. Hmm. Hmm. Not something I would eat on a regular basis, but. That's actually not bad. That's not bad at all. Okay. Get myself a treat bean after that one. Whoops. Okay, guys. Second attempt. I'm going to try to do this. I'm going to give this two more tries. I'm going to give this two more tries, and then we're probably going to wrap things up for tonight's stream. than that. I need to be a little quicker than that. But, you know, okay, like, I would never actually eat an actual plate of liver and onions because I still think that sounds disgusting as hell. But, uh, honestly, that bean flavor of liver and onions is actually not that bad. Now, if this were like the last edition, last year's edition of Bean Boozled, where if, if it was dog food, oh god, can you imagine if it was dog food? Quicker on the draw. 
Especially since I don't want to waste a whole lot of energy to be fuck me again with. No. Oof. Fuck me. Playing this game in window mode is not a good idea at all. I'm just gonna say that right now. It is not a good idea to play this game in window mode at all because your mouse cursor, if it's even out, uh oh, fuck me. If it's even out of the game screen, then that's it. And you can't really be affording you can't really afford to make the slightest mistake when it comes to the six and night of this game hell even night seven in custom night mode at this point so my reaction time is good but the RNG is still the biggest factor when it comes to this game. The RNG is the biggest factor when it comes to this game. But right now as it stands, it is 2 a.m. We're at 55% power. We're not doing too horribly. I want to say that we're not doing too horribly. But again, I need to focus and not screw up. The tiniest falter can cost the game. Just like that. Alright, well, I know what's going to happen. I'm waiting for it. There it is. Alright. All right, got four balls left. Okay, I got to spin the wheel twice. So that's two more dollars. I'm going to spin the wheel. Fiery five times one. Uh oh. Uh oh. Were we at 56? Okay, well, I remember that we were at 32. So were we at 56 is the question. Yeah, we were at 56. Okay. Cool. We were at 56. Okay, so. That's up to seven. Okay. It's a good thing I save every so often on this damn thing. Save that. All right, let's get my milk ready for this. Because who fucking knows what kind of fucking... I don't want to. It's cayenne. This is cayenne. I hate cayenne. 
It's okay. It's fine. Fine. This is all for a good cause. This is all for a good cause. All right, but I am going to spin the wheel one more time. Can't I have a break? <sighs> no use of delaying the inevitable. Another cayenne. Oh boy, another cayenne. Come on, that's that's not even a proper spin. Come on. All right, sriracha. I need to fix this somehow because I know that these wheels are not really reliable. There we go. Okay, all right, all right, you know what? You know what? That's fine. I can work with two Srirachas. I can work with two Srirachas and two Cayennes. The Cayennes are the ones I'm not looking forward to. All right, you know what? I know for a fact that we are at the end of the stream. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to wrap things up. We're, we're, we're going to call it quits for Five Nights at Freddy's. Five Nights at Freddy's is done and over with. Five Nights at Freddy's is done and over with. So I'm not going to bother with this game. Anymore. So to wrap things up tonight, we are going to do a fiery five. A fiery five. Ah, boy. All right. Foxy. I'm going to need you for this, buddy. All right. You got to motivate me. You got to motivate me to eat these beans, okay? All right. Sriracha is not going to be bad. I'm more worried about the cayenne. What if I just eat both of the cayennes? Would that be worse or should I just eat one? Or should I just get it over with and just eat the two cayennes? Oh, man. Um. Yeah. GG, I don't know either. I'm I'm at a loss here, buddy. <sighs> well, I can't delay the inevitable. It's already done. It's already spun. Do double. Alright, we're gonna double down. We're gonna double down on this thing. I I am shaking right now. Holy shit. Okay. Okay. All right. I'm not reacting right now because I haven't swallowed yet. As soon as I swallow, that's going to be bad. So I'm just going to focus on chew, chew, chew. Once it's the back of your throat. Oh, shit. I'm sorry. 
right, GG. I haven't even had ghost pepper yet. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. All right. That just leaves a sriracha. And luckily for me, I won't even be able to tell if it's... Oh, God, my lips are burning. Oh, my lips are burning. Whew. Alright. Alright. Okay. Let me save this. Now I'll stick to these last two sirachas. Okay. Alright. Luckily for me, Sriracha is not gonna be noticeable at all. It's the cayenne. Cayenne comes through very strong. Okay, but I am gonna. Oh. 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 Whew. I did it! I did it! Whew. Okay! Alright! I did it! Alright! Alright! That's the last trick or treat. That's the last trick or treat for the evening. We're ending stream. That's it. <laughs> All right. Oh, shit. Okay. So, on that note. Mm. All right. Okay. Thank fuck for milk. Mm. Mm. I could literally suck through a cow's teeth. Milk is so good. All right. Okay. So that's going to be it for day two of, um, that's going to be it for day two for Hollow's, uh, fest. And, uh, hot damn. Okay. God, my tongue is still burning from the cayenne. <sighs> Ooh. <laughs> Shout out for milk for say saving the night. Holy shit. All right, so tomorrow uh for day 3 um yeah, okay, so it's going to be slender the arrival. So We'll go through Slender to Arrival tomorrow on the PlayStation 4. And then Dead Space 2 is after that. Now, if I remember correctly, the last time I played Slender to Arrival, Slender to Arrival is not that long of a game at all. Ooh. Slender to Arrival is not that long of a game at all. Um, Dead Space 2, I don't know how long that's going to take me. To get through that, let alone the Resident Evil 2 remake. But considering that this is uh, tomorrow is going to be the third day, I don't think it's going to take me that long to get through either Dead Space 2 or Resident Evil 2 remake. Um, but at this point in time, I owe thirty-two dollars for charity, and we are at sixty tokens. We are at sixty tokens out of the possible three hundred. Now. I don't know if Cry Monica was here or not. I know for sure that uh, Cry Monica was is not in Discord. So, um, 
the incentives have been um the incentives have been added uh so if we reach 100 i'm still going to be doing five nights of fairies of vr stream that's still going to happen 200 at 200 we'll be doing chocolate covered scorpion i will be eating a chocolate covered scorpion on stream and if we reach 300 uh i will also be eating a trail mix that will be including two different types of scorpions and a beetle so I will be essentially eating bugs on stream. So if we can get the token counter to 300, that's going to happen on stream. And it's still open that if someone goes out of their way to order me to purchase and send me a zebra tarantula covered in sea salt, I will also eat that on stream. So that's still up in the air. That's still up in the air. <sighs> okay. All right. The good news is... Wait. What's on its way? The bugs or the tarantula? Like, did you also order a tarantula, babe? Did you also order a tarantula or just the bugs themselves? You ordered a tarantula as well. Oof. Oh boy. All of it. Whoo! All of it. Okay. All right. Well, we'll hold off on the scorpion and the beetles, but once the zebra tarantula comes in, I will definitely start eating that on stream. <sighs> Someone tells me I have to mentally prepare myself for that one. Um, oh, but I still love you, babe. <laughs> I still love you. I still love you. <laughs> All right, so we're done. We are done with day two. Um, if you guys have not ooh, joined the Discord, join the Discord. I do updates on there in terms of my... Um, scheduling whether i'm going to be streaming or not and whether what kind of events i'm going to be holding on stream something crazy crazy than this crazy like this i should say can't think um and i also do support streamers both big and small so if you're a streamer whether it be on here youtube or facebook gaming it don't matter i support all platforms so, so show us what you can do and we will gladly support you along the way. And uh, since we are ending the stream, we are going to be raiding someone. So if you are a subscriber, you're going to copy the first raid message. If you're a non-subscriber, you're going to copy the second raid message. If you guys stick around for the raid, I would greatly appreciate that. Uh, let's see who is all online here. That we can push this file up to. Let's see. We haven't seen Slappy Jack in a while. But let's see who else is. I think my heart is set for Slappy Jack, who is currently who is currently playing a game called Pogo Stuck Rage with Your Friends. This looks like a bad version of, what is it? This looks like a bad version of, what the hell, uh, Bennett, f getting over it, getting over it. This looks like a very bad version of getting over it. <laughs> anyway, we're going to push the love over to Slappy Jack. We're going to push the love over to Slappy Jack and, uh. Yeah, so we'll push the level over to Slappy Jack, and I will see you guys tomorrow with uh, Slender the Arrival on PlayStation 4 for Day 3 of Hollows Fest. Uh, thank you all for tuning on in. I hope that you guys enjoyed the stream, and I hope you look for, forward to tomorrow's stream. And as always, happy gaming, my friends. Mm -hmm.